Hi, do you guys know an estimated time of when I should be finding out where I'm staying? Do you guys know where I'll be staying? Am I on the wait list? Do I even have a place to stay? Or... Am Today's video is going to be me updating you guys on what's been going on with Morgan State and just a little chit chat. I'm going to be eating my ramen noodles. This isn't a mukbang or anything. I feel like you got to have like a whole bunch of food or something for that. So this isn't that, but just a little chit chat. Um, before we get into this video, please like, comment and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And let's go. Alrighty. So Morgan State. A lot of people told me that going into an HBCU, a lot of things would be delayed and that sometimes they take a while to get back to you. Just all kinds of things. And boy, is that true. I have really been experiencing what that feels like. But let's start off with the fact that I have been classified as a sophomore. I took 33 credits at Seton Hall University and 30 of them transferred over to Morgan. I was so happy when that happened because I was not trying to retake classes that I put my hard work into. The only class that didn't transfer over was my religion class and that's because Seton Hall is a Catholic school. And that's the class that I expected to not transfer because it's a religious class and this HBCU isn't a religious school. So long story short is I'm a sophomore. I'm a first semester sophomore. So basically like every spring semester is when my classification will change i will be a sophomore this spring semester and fall semester and then i'll be a junior in the spring semester yeah, i hope that i could graduate on time you know may 2022 is when i was supposed to it might be looking more like may 2023 i don't really know what i'll have to do to try to get myself back on track but hope for the best Pray for updates guys. is that i made my schedule i really like my schedule i have class every day but the way the time is, is that I have mornings to myself, which means I don't have to get up early. You know, I love that. And I have like the evenings to myself, except for Tuesdays and Thursdays, I believe. My latest class is at 6.50. But even then, it's not too, too bad. You know, I rock with it. I like it. You know, for me to have registered late, being as though I'm a transfer student, I think it's a pretty good schedule. You know, I thought I was going to get like the worst of the worst. I thought that I wasn't even going to be able to get into some classes that some classes wouldn't even be open for me but god was clearly on my side right thumbnail or nah but let me tell you guys the problem right now with morgan state is that i still do not know where i'm staying I've been told that you move in January 19th that's when all the students come back so that's like the move-in date that I have planned but I don't have anywhere to move into I put in the housing application the day that it came out which was November 16th I submitted the housing application I have yet to hear anything back from them I call them I call them I call them hi do you guys know an estimated time of when I should be finding out where I'm staying do you guys know where I'll be staying? Am I on the wait list? Do I even have a place to stay? Or am I never going to get a place? It is January 5th. Like, you know, so that's one thing that has been kind of irking me, annoying me a little bit. Especially because I'm a person who likes to plan things ahead and I like to know what I'm getting myself into. You know, I haven't even been able to like start really shopping for my dorm for real. Because I don't know what it's going to look like. Even though I'm sure a lot of them are kind of designed similarly. I just like want to know where I'm staying at. You know, I've heard about Blount. I've heard a lot about Blount. A lot of people have told me about Blount and that they have a bad rep and I'm scared. I feel like I'm going to end up being in there and there won't be anything I could really do about it. But mm, <laughs> them communal bathrooms though. Mm, mm. This is why I need to know where I'm staying now so that I can mentally prepare myself. They can't throw it on me the week of. They can't do that to me. But, I mean, it's been, you know, cool. It's not too, too, too many updates. It's just like a few. I really am excited. 
you know it's since the time is approaching and it's like less than two weeks left i have been getting nervous nervous in a sense like wow this is really about to happen like i'm really about to leave the nest i'm about to leave i cannot believe this is happening the thought of it scares me like will i be homesick you know i'm sure that i'm gonna make a lot of friends but like no one fills that void of family and the people who you've been around all your life you know i've never really left the nest i've never taken a leap as big as this ever so it's gonna be new for me you know i have been getting a little emotional lately i get triggered easily um just the thought that like i'm really going to be leaving and you know the people i'm leaving behind i'm not gonna cry but I just get emotional talking about it. But like I said, I'm really excited. I look forward to it. It's just, this is like such a big change for me. And I just wanna be mentally ready. But I feel like I'll never actually be ready until I have no other choice but to be. So that's basically that. I am excited though. I don't, I don't want you guys to think that like my mood is like low. That's not the case at all. I just have been thinking like the time is coming. I'm getting nervous. I'm leaving everyone. You know, I feel like that's a normal feeling. Oh, I just thought of something else. So I thought that going into Morgan, that because my GPA from my previous school was so high, that I would be getting the um, honor scholarship. But I found out that they do give honor scholarships to transfer students, but they don't give honor scholarships to transfer students coming in the spring. They only give it to transfer students coming in the fall. However, if you are already a student enrolled, you can apply in the spring to become a part of the honors college and get an honor scholarship in the fall. I did not know that. And for a while I was like, am I gonna get a scholarship? Am I gonna get a scholarship? I know my GPA is worthy of one. It's not just the bare minimum, like it's above average. But no, when I found that out, I was a little sad. But financial aid did come in clutch. It really did, it gave me more than I expected. Not too much is coming out of pocket, but this semester, you know, because I am a transfer student and I'm not involved in anything right now, this might be probably the most expensive semester that I should have all my college years at Morgan because I do plan on becoming a cheerleader, like I said. So I plan on getting a cheerleading scholarship mixed with the fact that I want to get in the honors college because I do have plans to maintain my great GPA. Because, you know, your GPA from previous schools doesn't transfer with you. They use it to decide whether they're going to accept you or not, but it does not transfer over. You start from the ground up. I plan on having another great GPA and getting into the honors college. So I pray that next semester I have other things that's going in in addition with my financial aid that makes the out-of-pocket expenses much cheaper but yeah but those are pretty much my updates on Morgan. I've been keeping in contact with a couple people that go there. So, you know, I'm gonna see them when I get there and, you know, speak to them. I'm excited. So it's not like I'm going in there not knowing anybody at all, you know, cause this is a new experience. It's cool to have a little bit of networks going on before you get there, but I'm excited. This is a new experience. I am about to have a new journey, a new way of life that I've never known. Whether it be good, whether it be bad, I don't know. But I'm excited and I'm ready for whatever's gonna come my way. I will continue to update you guys. I wanna um, show you guys when I start going dorm shopping, you know, when I actually get my dorm and find out where I'm staying. I mean, what the heck? Do they want me to be staying on the streets or sleeping on the sidewalk? Because actually, I just remembered I was speaking to someone and they told me that one year housing became so crowded that they were having people in hotels. Anybody who goes to Morgan State, please comment down below any like things that you can tell me about how housing goes, any advice you can give me, anything. I would appreciate it so much. I just want to know where I'm staying. As this bowl is coming to an end, so is this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching.
I will continue to update you guys with everything that's going on with Morgan. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Wait, did I say that already? <laughs> Anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let's hit 100 subscribers before January is over. That would be a really nice thing. Like I said, if you guys have any advice, anybody who goes to Morgan that's watching this, or anybody who knows someone that went to Morgan that's watching this, talk to me. Talk to me. Comment below. DM me. Like, any advice you have to give me, reassure me, anything, that any experiences that you've had that are similar, let me know. I want to hear it because I just need something, you know, to ease my mind. Because I keep thinking I'm about to be sleeping on the streets somewhere or something. But, yeah. So, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch up with you guys later.